What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to etch a beer mug. Yes, it's going to be awesome and I'm going to walk you through it and walk you through Coral Draw, how I lay everything out. I already have it done but I'll redo it so you guys know and we'll run it through the laser and then I also at the end of the video I'm going to show you something that I've been testing out for the last couple of months and it has been working awesome on my glassware and I love it. It's making it so much nicer and so much faster. I haven't had any complaints. I've been having very, very good reviews now on the glassware. So it'll be a tip for you guys. Summer towards the end of the video. I can tell you when. Watch the whole video. <laughs> So these are the beer mugs we will be etching today and you can kind of see they got a tapered bottom and I'm just going to put my name on it. And I'm doing this because someone had asked me, uh, it was before Christmas time, sometime in December that they needed help doing these. They were confused and lost and I said I'll make a video if you can wait and they said absolutely. So this is for you. I don't remember the name, it was a while ago, sorry. but. I'm gonna walk you guys through it, so let's go. So first, we gotta set up the laser. Get this so it's all right. Alright, so as you can tell, we got it set up, and my laser is just missing right about there where the air line comes in. So it'll be perfect. We have it right in the center. Some of you guys don't have that option. Then what you're gonna have to do is bring this handle this way and have it where you can just lightly touch that laser head and then pull it back like an eighth inch. So you know exactly where you are every single time. Okay, so I set up the page. Mine's already set up. So if you're using the same one, you can use my dimensions. So what I did is you can see here is in blue, I have it five inches and three quarters, and then 10 inches and one eighth. So then, I always put down how fast and what DPI. So DPI 400, and that should actually be 300 for the laser I'm gonna use. And then speed 30 and power is 100%. I always put this here just in case something would happen to me so my wife or someone else can come in and finish doing the work that has to be done. Okay, so then over here I picked this font, stencil fonts and I just type my name Matt. So what I like to do here is I like to make a rectangle and I make it yellow. Okay so I do this so I can see my notes I have here and then you have a line that you're gonna put the font on and now we just have to find this line here will be the center. So if we take the name, Matt, go up here and highlight 360, we're gonna put in 90, enter, bring this over to the center. Notice how I'm centered on there. Now we know that that is gonna be center on the handle every single time. So you can do it this way or you can bring it down here, depending on if you want it on the left side. If someone's holding it right-handed, do you want it on the outside or do you want it on the inside so they can read it or do you want it for other people to read it? 
So that's the whole point of the two lines. We're gonna put it here. And yes, I took my logo off, so this way you guys don't go to my page. <laughs> and uh, let's see, so then what I do is center word here, the line half on yellow, so that's just as you see. So then what I like to do is you're gonna hit Control P, and we're gonna go to Fusion, Selection, we're gonna set up to 300. I get this in the way. There we go. Go back up to preferences. We're going to go to 300 raster and 5.75, 10.125, and 100%. Let's bring this down to 30. And then let's try Jarvis. Hit OK. Looks good on there. We're going to hit OK there. So now remember. The handle should be half on this right here, the end of the sheet. So when it starts, it's gonna come over this way and it'll be centered to where if you're holding it, it should be in the center. So let's give it a whirl. Oh, I wanna show you something else. I talked to a gentleman from Florida, not gonna say any names, um, nudge factor. He didn't know what a nudge factor was. So I want everyone to know a nudge factor because this really helps. So like when I go to find this line, see right here? Now that line is 2.46 from the end. So now to do that really quick, I would come up here on the nudge factor. This is called a nudge factor. And I would type in 2.46 and then hit enter. So now when I move something, it is 2.46 exactly. So if you are off, let's say I needed to move this down an eighth inch so it'd be perfectly center, I'd come up here and go 0 0.125, and that'd be an eighth inch. I'd highlight this name, move it down an eighth of an inch. So just wanna run that by everyone so everyone knows. These little tools really help out and I'm gonna try to keep bringing more of those in because I know you can't really do everything in one video, so. All right. Give this a whirl. You will notice it is two minutes and seven seconds. I'm drinking out of a mug with my name on it. <laughs> yeah, so it looks pretty good. This, I mean it. So it was towards me. You can do it to the other side if you want, however the customer wants. Um, I've been doing a lot where the customers wanted them towards them, so whatever, it works. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I like um, the setup. Now, for the people that you cannot do what I just did because the handle's too tall and it's too close, because on the Fusion, I have a three inch leadway. And I can't remember what it is on the other, every laser is so different, um, but I know they're a lot smaller than that. They're around two inches, two and a half, some of them are, and two and a quarter. So uh, what you'd have to do is, I had the handle straight up like this. So what you're gonna wanna do, if the laser head's here, you're not gonna be going straight up because it's gonna run into it, because you're gonna be closer. So you'd wanna come close and almost where you tap it and then let off a little bit. You'd have to go to the back side because it's going to spin this way. Make sure you look on which way it's going to spin first. So if it's in there, obviously this is going to spin this way because it wrote on this that way. So what you'd want to do is put it in there and come up to your laser head so it taps it there and back off a little bit. By doing that, you're in the same spot every time. Now what you do is you measure from center to here. And this is about just guessing a half inch. So I would take my nudge factor and put 0 .0 or 0.5 and then you just move this all down and that center line down and then you got it in the same spot every single time. And if you don't like the way that works, you can use like, I don't have any round, little blocks. And what you do is set up the blocks 
like this so you know you're on the same spot every time same height then take the block out and then let it etch and so you can etch the front or however you'd like so I'm gonna show you you know every time you etch glass everyone that's done it there's always you always try to perfect it and get it so it's just perfect and you don't feel any scratches whatsoever and little shards but you always get the one or two right so I've been trying stuff out and I've always used a cloth or my shirt and it just doesn't get it always and you always get like little fine hairs once in a while so I got something sanding pads now if you, any of you guys are watching my vlog I think two weeks ago maybe maybe three but I had a video in one of my vlogs this came I got another pack of it it came to try out to see if other sizes worked but I'm still I'm so I like these so what I've noticed is the 4,000 on down to the 12,000 has been the best this one is the 12,000 and I've been using this one now for quite some time and you really literally all you have to do is take it and just lightly go over it just a couple times like that and there is no shards whatsoever you don't have to push hard I found if you push hard it kind of takes off too much you want this because this is meant for glass believe it or not it's for people that have lathes and they do like a lot of finishing work so if you just take this lightly over it and don't push hard if you push hard it tends to grab and it sticks in here and then you'll you can have a chance of um, scratching I haven't scratched it yet but you can hear it on there and it doesn't sound right so I'm gonna put this it's affiliate link you guys I'm gonna put it in the um, down below uh, the only place I found was Amazon it used to be in a Hobby Lobby but it went back there and it they're not Hobby Lobby it was an RC um, ah, the heck's the name it was out of Iowa but anyways they don't they weren't carrying it no more and I asked and they said they don't carry it they didn't sell enough of it so I got off Amazon so yeah that has that's your tip ah what a beautiful beautiful mug and I think it's because of the name I just I mean that name is so cool <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys got some good tips out of here let me know in the comments what the next video is I think actually the next video I got a letter from a super nice gentleman and I will be answering some stuff off of his and I'll be I'm gonna actually shoot him an email and answer a lot of them but for you guys I think it'll be a nice one so I'm gonna do that and then um, I got some other emails I'm gonna read through so I might do a Q&A for uh, the next one unless one of you guys say differently and you want something else but I also got to clean the laser after the busy season now it really needs it. <laughs> Glad you got to see me again. If you guys like the content, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. <laughs> Bye.